Georgia and this is the town of Georgia. And today I'm reviewing the movie The Vin Heights. I just got back from the movie seeing it for the second time and oh my god I love this movie so much. Before I go any further I will just say that this is based solely on the film. This review is solely on the film. I have heard that it is actually rather different from the musical but my experience with the musical equals one entire listen to of the cast recording and several watches of that tiny little clip from In the Heights Chasing Broadway Dreams featuring baby Lin-Manuel Miranda and baby Christopher Jackson. Seriously they're babies! Look at them! But we're not looking at that, there's going to be no comparisons to that because I really don't know anything about the stage musical all that much. Certainly not enough to know how they are different because I've heard they are actually very different. So there's a lot going on with the plot either way so all I'm going to say is this tells the story of, I don't know how long, a few months. The first act is set over three days, but then the rest of the show goes on for a bit longer. So it's about what happens in the community of Washington Heights during that time. I'm not going to go into any specifics because there's a lot of people doing a lot of different things and it's a bit too much. But the character we follow the most is Usnabi, the man well around his self-insert. He wrote the show because he wanted a career in musical theatre. The snuffy is a self insert, case closed. And in the movie, the snuffy is played by the one and only adorable Anthony Ramos. And I know the snuffy is basically a Lin Manuel Miranda self insert, but oh my god, it's like Anthony Ramos was made for this role. Lin even says that he thinks Anthony fits the role better than he ever did. Despite that, there's not really a whole bunch of point going into each individual character and actor because not only is every single one amazing but because they're so interconnected it's almost like the community is one big character in and of itself. Even a snappy who we definitely follow more than the others partly because he's narrating. Yeah I don't think there was a framing device thing in the original musical but we have that here. Adding more facial hair does not have the desired effect they were going for of I imagine making him look 10 years or so older but that's not their fault Anthony Ramos is gonna look youthful for the rest of his life. The songs are amazing no surprise there. It's not like Hamilton where it's entirely sung through. There are definitely scenes where nobody's speaking but that doesn't mean it doesn't have a bit of a sung through element to it. A lot of the time you can tell it's not just the main song but they are speaking with a sort of song like cadence. When everybody's singing together you can tell exactly what's going on with everyone and when somebody's singing a solo you can tell exactly what they specifically are thinking. I think my favourite is probably Vanessa's song It Won't Be Long Now. I'm gonna have that in my head for days. Everyone did a great job with the acting and the singing and oh my god the dancing. The choreography in this movie is freaking insane. And they're all at the pool in 96,000. The choreography is just insane. When the camera's bright in the sky looking down at Vanessa in the middle and everybody's swim dancing around her just Wow. Everyone did a great job making you care about not just them but them and everybody else as one. And then there's Lynn. Lynn as the Paragua guy was perfect. That was the perfect role to give him. He didn't want to be in the movie originally which doesn't surprise me at all but I think giving him that role was a great idea. It's bigger than a traditional cameo but not so big that you all go oh my god Lynn's in it, Lynn's in it, I want to watch Lynn. It's not so big that it detracts you from everyone else and you don't care about them because you're just there to watch Lynn. And it leads to one of the best post credit scenes ever. So the Paragua guy's thing is that he's losing business because of Mr. Softy and his ice cream truck because nobody wants snow cones when they can have ice cream and Mr. Softy is played by Christopher Jackson which is just hilarious and in the post credit scene his truck's broken down and everybody's gone back to Lynn for snow cones so original Benny and original let's not be battling over frozen treats is hilarious and I imagine since Lynn and Chris are such good friends after the director yells cut they both just laugh their heads off together there's one point at the beginning when Nina's singing breathe that she looks over and Lynn's parents are uh, getting out of a car and I thought that was brilliant. I was in the cinema and I went oh my god it's Lynn's parents! And when Nina's father, played by Jimmy Switch, is on the phone to the university the elevator music is You'll Be Back and if you actually look at the credits You'll Be Back is listed. With everything going on with Hamilton now 
that's just perfect. Because it's a little tiny nod that you notice if you really love Hamilton and like Lynn's role it's not a giant blinking light going this guy wrote Hamilton. It doesn't pull you out of the story and make you only think of Hamilton. So would I recommend this? abso freaking lootly Everything about it is incredible and insane and amazing in one way or another. There's a lot of light-hearted bits and a lot of humour, but there are just as many deep and dramatic and heartfelt moments as well. And it's really all about love. The love that everybody has for their community. So yes, go and see it. And that's everything I've got for today guys. I hope you enjoyed. Feel free to like and subscribe and I'll see you in my video next week. So long for a while!